So Josh, welcome to Joshua Pomeroy Live. I want to show you something that I think is very interesting. One of the things that I very much appreciate is efficiency, uh, especially when it comes to technology. I think that as we progress, for me, one of the signs of real progression is that we can do more with less. I mean, having, you know, terabyte hard drives and all, all those kinds of things is awesome. That's amazing. But I also often wonder how much have we progressed if it takes so much more resources to do just a few more things that we maybe couldn't do before. Let me give you an example. GIF image file formats. This, this has been around for quite a while. It was kind of all the rage in the mid 90s, late 90s for me anyways, uh, especially with MySpace and on forums. These were used a lot and they kind of went away for a while and have come back in full storm with the ability to use them on Facebook. They become this social phenomena in a way as uh, emotes, ways of, of communicating. And uh, I'm interested in that. I'm interested in, in, can we use some very old technology with some very new technology like screen sharing and live broadcasting and marketing uh, platforms and tools and Facebook as it advances and progresses. One of the new features, if you haven't seen, is the ability to share your screen. You can screencast uh, natively from the desktop version of Facebook without having to download any other software like OBS or XSplit or Wirecast or Ustream. In Chrome, all you need is a tiny little extension to allow you to be able to broadcast your screen, record your audio and anything that's on your screen and share it with anyone who's watching your live uh, Facebook live post and interact in real time. This opens up some really interesting possibilities. This means that uh, the, the, the bar has been kind of dissolved as far as what it takes, the amount of resources that it takes and, and knowledge and tech, technological expertise to be able to present some really high-end quality looking uh, engaging content online without hardly any resources in fact i'm making this video right now on a chromebook a chromebook it's running chrome os no other software installed i'm presenting this recording my audio and the, and my screen using a a tiny Chrome extension called Loom. I'm not doing this live on Facebook because I want to sh record this and show you the possibilities. The, the, the merging of these technologies is what, is what I'm very interested in, along with uh, lightweight, very fluid, very uh, inexpensive in the, in the sense of, of, of like bandwidth and file size uh, technology while maintaining a high level of professional look and, and presentation quality and be able to do some very creative things. So here on my screen right now, what you're seeing is my, uh, my Google Slides setup that I'm working on. I'm working through this and I wanna present this to you and, and anyone who might come across this video, maybe to open up some ideas for you to be more creative and utilize some of the technology that we have available to us as it continues to progress to be more efficient, more creative, and ultimately more successful in your presentations, in the ways of communicating messages online, etc. So, uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm using a, a, uh, a few uh, GIF images along with some other file format images like PNGs to create some kind of pseudo motion graphics. This is not video. But I have this illusion of motion because a GIF for graphic interchangeable format, I believe it's called, you can Google that and uh, fact check me on that if you want, uh, is a image format, not a video. It's an image format that contains multiple frames that uh, provide a progression of, of motion. And uh, what's fascinating about these little files to me is that they work inside Google Slides and other image editing applications like images, which allows me to work with them and play with them just like I would a PNG or a JPEG. They can also contain 
alpha channel or transparency. So let me break this down for you so you can see how I've created this little motion graphic that's happening here on the screen that I believe provides a little bit more visual interest. If you're scrolling through Facebook or social platform and you see a static image and you're presenting something on your screen, that's great. But they might miss some content if there's if if if, if they only think it's an image, right? Um, especially if the the sound isn't automatically on or if they don't have autoplay video on or something like that. So this could be a way of maybe attracting more viewers uh, as well as just what I'm interested in is showing other creators uh, or potential creators, content creators, marketers, uh, business people, entrepreneurs, anybody with a message, ways that you can use lightweight files, lightweight technology, and integrate it into maybe your slide decks or presentations and use it in creative ways. So here we go. Um, this is uh, just a this is object based design, right? I've, I've used Google Slides for publishing for all kinds of stuff. So let me break this little element here down for you that I've created. So I'm going to use Control Alt Shift G to remove this from a group, and I can pull this all apart now. So here we have a PNG image that I cut out using a different web based application called Pixlr. Uh, you can use Gravit Designer, a PNG image retains an alpha channel like you can see here so you can see behind it it has no background or a transparent background same with this gif image which is being contained or cropped inside of an image which is very easy to do inside google slides let me drag a duplicate here by holding control and i'm going to reset this image so you can see this is the original image just this tiny looping gif animation right there and i've cropped it inside of a circle to kind of contain it right and and then i have got this vector shape which is just an ellipse some of the built-in shapes inside google slides and that gives me a base and behind it i have this kind of radial pulsing beacon uh trying to get across the idea that hey this is live check it out there's something else happening in this content right so i've built this up here with just these few pieces to kind of create this little, uh, you know, profile animation, uh, visual interest sort of pseudo motion graphics, right? No video content that's happening here. Video would be much um, heavier as far as, as as far as file size and bandwidth. And uh, here's another example of how I'm using it, just down here in the corner. Again, just kind of this looping profile image beacon animation. And I've also created a master slide with this so that it can appear on every new slide that I create. And it puts all those layers in a way that I can't mess it up now. So that's really nice. I can still get to it if I go to my master slides, right? I can edit these master slides. And there it is. I can move this around, right? I can edit it. I get to all my pieces. Nice little subtle animation happening there. I love it. It's great. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this is really cool, and I'm interested to see what other people could do with this technology. You don't have to have After Effects. You don't have to have Photoshop. You don't have to have anything else installed. And what I think is really cool is that it, it really opens the doors for people without very many resources or very much technical experience or knowledge to be able to create some really high-end quality looking presentations and present in ve very visual compelling ways their message their content to an audience and interact with them live on Facebook with the uh, ability to now share your screen and screencast directly on Facebook live. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you got something out of this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, give it a comment. Let me know how you are using these tools. Hopefully there's some uh, potential creators who can take something from this and some creators that are making content right now that maybe didn't know you could do this uh, in Google Slides or Facebook or whatever. Thanks again. Bye for now.